Rager, uh, Rager Blow Pumps. So, this type of pump is uh, commonly called uh, the centrifugal pump. And it is one of the most uh, commonly used uh, that in a pump existing today. Now, um, the elementary analysis nito, no, we have to perform a radial flow pump, so which will provide a theoretical relationship um, between the discharge and the development head rise. So, in addition to that, uh, we ha we have we need a better understanding of the manner which the momentum exchanges takes place in such a turbo machine will provide it. Apple pumps operate at efficiency less than the unity. So that's why uh, that is they do not perform the theoretical idealized conditions. So it is necessary, still necessary therefore to conduct experiments so that the true operating characteristic of turbo pump can be determined now elementary elementary theory the actual flow pattern in the turbo machinery uh, turbo pump are highly three-dimensional so when we say three dimensions so we have your x and y axis so with significant viscous effects so that will be on viscosity of the fluid since uh, we have different types of viscosities of different types of fluid now it depends and the separation takes the patterns taking place and to construct a, a simplified theory must be generated in order to for the radial pump so it is necessary to neglect the viscosity and to assume idealized two-dimensional flow throughout the impeller region so I bring down here the profile of an uh, front view of the I call this uh, impeller of the pump. Now from the center, okay. So we have the initial diameter. So we have here your initial diameter, which is your making R1 natin dito. So we have here your R1. Okay, so we have your R1, which is the radius 1. So I'm going to name this one as the radius of the impeller inside or radius of the impeller 1. Then we have the radius 2, which is the outside uh, radius of the impeller then we have the angular velocity no this one so represented by this symbol now the fluid uh, enters the enfiller at this point uh, we have the fluid uh, relative velocity with respect to the moving bank so dito yan so we have a line here traveling that is the one representing the relative velocity of the fluid entering the vein. So I'm going to write here. So this is our relative velocity with respect relative velocity of the well, this relative velocity of the fluid. So I'm going to name this one as W1. Okay. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, tangential velocity of the vein or the enfiller. So, we have here the tangential velocity. Papunta doon. Okay. So, we have here. So, it is being represented by U1. So, I'm gonna write here we have uh, u1 is equal to so tangential velocity of the impeller at point 1 so ito yung point 1 natin at this point at this part okay then yung tangential velocity natin which is the u1 no 
is equal to the radius 1 so times the angular velocity so kung sa point 1 we have this one for point 2 tangential velocity discharging outside the vane uh, outside the bit of palabas dito so we have the radius 2 times the angular velocity to get the value for radius uh, for the tangential velocity going out of the beam then next we have here is the tangential velocity of the fluid okay so on this side so i'm gonna name this one as b t1 okay so i can name this one as at the point one and we have also b t t2 so that is also the tangential velocity when the fluid is going out from the vein or the impeller now take note uh, we have your b t t1 okay the tangential velocity of the fluid at the inlet so are assume zero okay zero values for that one then we have br1 so this is the the flow velocity in the inlet so your br1 then we have again your br2 so that br1 and br2 so which is corresponding down at the discharge so the flow velocity in the inlet and we have your br2 is for the flow velocity in the outlet then next this line so we have the absolute velocity so this is b1 okay this is b1 which uh, represent as the absolute velocity is of flow in the inlet and the other one b2 is the absolute flow in the outlet absolute fluid velocity uh, flow absolute velocity of the fluid now if we go into form it in a triangle so we have this one a figure no so pinagdugtong dugtong naman natin siya Okay, so we have this figure. So we have your dotted line. No? Okay. Then, ito naman, side na ito, this is the angle of the blade at the inlet. So the same also on the outlet side. Okay. So, yung kani uh, kanina, we have yung velocity at the inlet now i'm gonna name this one as uh, our point point two hmm? so this is your point uh, this is your point two and then and this is our point one so um hindi ko na siya nilagay dito it's supposed to be at point one going here it should supposed to be nandito siya but ang ginawa ko is for ease of representation, so para uh, madali siyang tignan. So that's why I nilagay ko na lang siya dito at this point. Now this is our vein. Okay, so okay. this is our vein. Now uh, at point 2, so the same also we have your BTT2. Then we have here your velocity. Okay and absolute velocity and we have your velocity to the fluid and the uh, and also velocity of the fluid with respect to vein and we have also the uh, blade angle at this side okay so we can uh, determine now the equation that we'll be using here bringing down the euler's turbo machine equation now the shaft torque or that we have your t shaft no so this is equal to the density okay density of the fluid then we have the boolean flow rate so i'm gonna name this one as a q as for the stands for the boolean flow rate then it shall be multiplied to the 
radius two, so the radius outside, then then it will be multiplied to the tangential velocity or velocity at the inlet. We have b t two. Okay, then that will be minus the product of your radius one. Okay, then tangential velocity at the inlet T1. So this is for the outside. Okay. So close parenthesis nothing yet. So we have now for the shaft torque. Now for the water horsepower, we have your PW. So this is equal to the uh, angular velocity. So that is being multiplied to the torque or the shaft torque that we have. No. Then we can express yung water horsepower natin in terms yung angular velocity. If you can still remember, the angular velocity is uh, use, uh, equal to, or our tangential velocity is equal to the radius 1 times the uh, angular velocity. And for our tangential velocity of the impeller at the point 2, so we have your radius 2 and we have your angular velocity and we have this equation no? so pwede natin express yung angular velocity natin as uh, we call it na uh, ganito so angular velocity so that will be equal to your u but by your r radius 1 and we have this one, your angular velocity, that would be u2 by your radius 2. Okay, so take note, yung angular velocity natin, which yung meron dito, is the same also on the outside. So angular velocity inside is also the same as the angular velocity on the outside of the rim. Or the peripheral uh, out, uh, on the outer, uh, outer rim of the infiller. Okay. So we can rewrite now our equation to for water horsepower, no? So that will be equal to or can be distributed or can be equal to your angular velocity, then we shall multiply it by the density, okay? Then the boolean flow rate, then multiply it again with your radius 2 and we have your BTT2 minus your radius 1 bt t1 okay then i'm gonna close this one parenthesis now distributing that one don sa ano natin sa loob ng equation natin we have your uh, water horse power now is equal to uh since this one um value ng angular velocity with respect to radius 2 so we have this one so that will be density we have your volume flow rate okay then um multiply angular velocity sa loob so we have the value of u2 over r2 okay then multiply it by your r2 and that will be b velocity t2 okay then minus this one again distribute the angular velocity down the lobe so we have um that will be u1 okay over r1 then multiply to r1 then b t1 then close parenthesis nothing now Cancel yung common units natin dito. So, we have your R2 cancel out. Cancel out. We have your R1. R1. That will be cancel out. Then, we can rewrite our equation for water horsepower. So, that will be your density. Bullet to rate. So, we have U2. Then, this. Then, tangential velocity that will be multiplied to the low velocity in the outlet okay minus 
um, tangential velocity at the inlet at point 1 then uh, multiply with velocity t1 at the outlet uh, at the inlet velocity fluid in the inlet okay so close to so we have here the equation for the water horsepower now now for the pump head we have your h so that will be equal now to your water horsepower and it will be divided by the density gravity and we have your volume flow rate then we can express this one yung equation ito by substituting yung value ng water horsepower so we have here your head which is now equal to so the value of your water horsepower so saan nang galing yun then so all over by the density gravity and your volume flow rate so from here we can cancel out which is yung common so we have yung common that is your density no okay then your volume flow rate okay so we can write now our head now is equal to so to yung na one then we have divided by the gravity so we have now your pump head i bring down here um yung M feller so this is the front view looking at this side so you have your angular velocity dito then this is the side view so mapapansin nyo this is the casing ng pump no okay so yung rushes of fluid during the centrifugal rotation ng pump causes the water to flow towards here okay. so flowing towards here so flowing towards so rushes of water flowing uh, towards here so dyan ang pasok ng tubig okay so by means of centrifugal force so the flow of water is being pushed outside the uh, palabas sa center ng ano na shafting so papunta yan flowing papunta dito then here so from here the the uh, the pressure starts to build up and you have the pressure build up on this casing and also the same doon sa baba as it rotates okay so it discharges on the side other side kung saan man yung nakalagay yung discharge niya okay so you will notice here you now we have your radius one so that yung sa loob radius one and we have your radius two and mapansin nyo dito you will also notice we have the piece of one so we have the thickness of this m vane or blade and we have the thickness on this side so magkaiba siya so we have a different thickness from the inside radius to the outside radius so now the volume flow rate uh, entering the eye of the pump okay so passes through the circumferential cross sectional area so that will be defined by v b okay so that is b1 and with the corresponding radius 1 so consider uh, conservation of mass okay so mass requires that the same flow rate must pass through the circumferential cross section so the area may be defined by width at b2 with the radius of 2 okay so by continuity equation plus so we have yung what is entering what is entering the system or papasok dito is also the same as also volume flow rate that is leaving the system so the same siya okay now um so since we have here the the our circumferential so circumferential area no to compute yung volume flow rate ng pump natin by means of looking at the figures so we have your q going back from our continuity equation so 
we have your Q, okay? So that is equal to our Q is equal to Q is equal to area times the velocity. Now, para magkaroon tayo ng volume flow rate, so itong kailangan natin. Now, what will be the area? So that is uh, the questions. So, so the area will be the circumferential ng radius na ito, circumferential ng radius na ito, which is your R1, okay? Multiply by the thickness, which is your B1. So, thickness of the um, of the ampere. So, we have that one. So, ang circumferential area ng circle, so we have your 2 pi circumferential. So, that will be 2 pi, no? Times the radius. So, we have your radius. Okay. So, that will be radius 1 doon. Okay. So, we have the area. So, since this is only circumferential, so we need to multiply it by B. So, that's so, uh, sir, uh, so um, since this is equation is for circumference pa lang, so we need to multiply by B. So, para magkaroon tayo ng area. Okay. B1. Then, we're going to multiply this one by BR1 or the flow velocity in the inlet Okay, so we have BR1 dito. Okay, so ito, we have already that is, for example, that is millimeter, then millimeter, so that will be multiply mo that we have, we can achieve the, the unit of square meter, then multiply by the velocity, which is meter per second, then we can achieve the uh, unit of a volume flow rate, which is cubic meter, for example, okay. So, for example, uh, as well as I'm saying, so for example, your um, R1 will be meter. That will be multiplied by meter. Then another, yung velocity, which is yung thickness nito, yung velocity, which will be meter per second. Okay, so we can achieve the cubic meter per second to have the volume flow rate. Okay. So, ang tanong is, so this is only for point, point 0.1. Okay. So, by continuity equation, the volume flow rate entering dito, so entering which is volume flow rate and also leaving the pump is the same. So, for our outlet, okay, so palabas dito, what will be the volume flow rate? So, ang volume flow rate niya, pasok dito doon, are the same. So, magkakaiba na lang is variation of velocity. Since we have a given thickness dito, so, uh, for the... Uh, outlet, it will be volume, um, volume flow rate that will be 2 pi, no? So, we have the radius 2 and the thickness of V sub 2 and we have the velocity of the fluid flow at point 0.2 that will be at point 0.2, okay? Now, to compute yung velocity BR1 and BR2, referring again to the velocity triangle, no? So, going back there, go on. So, what we have is this angle. So, in order to compute our BR1, so let's try to draw a triangle here. Okay. So, we have your opposite. So, that will be your BR, BR1. No? Then, we have the angle dito, which we have your angle point, uh, at point 0.1. Then, we're looking for the BR1. Then our u okay so u and dito sa baba so that will be the that will be the tangential velocity okay so that will be your u or so let's say it will be your u1 so where u1 is equal to your radius 1 times the angular velocity <coughs> now to solve that so, we have your tangent, huh? so that will be towa, tangent of your angle, okay? Then, you have your uh, uh, opposite, BR1, okay? divided by the adjacent or the tangential velocity of the impeller, U1. So, we have now the value for your BR1, which is equal to U1. Tangential velocity times your tangent uh, angle. Okay. 
so where our br1 is equal to tangential velocity 1 times your tangent na angle at the inlet. Okay, so let's have a quick recap ng ano natin, no? ng velocity, ng velocity definition ng ating radial flow pump. So, um, again, so let's have a review. So, we have your tangential velocity of the fluid. So, that will be dito. Then, we have your U1, which is your tangential velocity of the impeller. And this one is BTT1 and BTT2 are the tangential velocity of the fluid. So, running at this side. Okay. Then, we have your absolute velocity, which is this symbol. Okay. Then, we have your B1 as your absolute velocity. So, forgot to write here. So, I forgot to write that one. Our B1, this one, and B2 on the outside, that would be our the absolute velocity of the velocity triangle. Then, your BR1 is the flow velocity of the inlet and outlet. BR1, so the flow of the velocity, fluid flow velocity. Okay, so the same also what we'll be having here no, ano na, at the out, outlet. No? Okay, so from the Euler's turbo machine equation, so we have this equation that will be your density times the volume flow rate. So this is also equal to your mass flow rate. Then multiplying by the radius to, so that will be the outside. Then we have your tangential velocity of uh, fluid flow so from the inlet uh, from the outlet then we have here for your inlet and we have your radius one okay so for the water horse power that will be uh the angular velocity times the torque of the shaft so which is the value nito then since we have the value of your uh tangential velocity of the impeller okay so take note the angular velocity the inside is also equal to the angular velocity outside so that's why this is our common so we can rewrite the uh, equation for the angular velocity so magbabago na lang dyan is the tangential velocity or yun, sometimes they call it a peripheral speed which is uh speed ito is magkaiba which is also the speed of the din sa labas okay then substituting to the water horse power so we can rewrite our equation and finally we have the water horse power which is equal to the density volume flow rate then tan tangential velocity at the outlet of the impeller then multiply it by the flow velocity in the outlet minus the tangential velocity of the impeller at point one then we have for below velocity in the outlet phase okay. now pump head that will be the what which is just symbolized as h so that will be the water horsepower uh, water horsepower divided by the density gravity and we have your volume flow rate so substituting your value in water horsepower so will be cancelled out so the head is equal now to the velocity tangential velocity of the impeller at the outlet then the fluid velocity multiplied by fluid velocity minus the tangential velocity of the impeller in the inlet and the fluid flow velocity at the inlet so this is the outlet and this is for your inlet divided by the gravity which is 9.81 okay so here so we have yung bring down natin yung ano yung usually this is the front view ng ating infiller then and this is will be the side view. Okay so for the volume flow rate so usually that will be the area some circumferential area multiplied by the thickness nito. Okay, so the same also yung uh, volume flow rate area at the outlet. Okay so by continuity equation from your thermodynamics and conservation of energy, so what is entering is the one that also leaving the systems. So we have now your area times your velocity. So they have the same volume rate, but the velocity at the outlet and the thickness of the blade at the inlet and the outlet are different. So don't know magbabarishons.
magbabaris yan. Okay? So sometimes, given palagi ito ang thickness nun sa loob at sa, sa labas. So nagbabaris lang, which is yung velocity. Where we can solve our velocity at outlet by means of uh, uh, the value of your tangential velocity multiplied by the tangent of theta at point 1 to so lead angle at point 1. Okay, so this is what. Okay, so we can proceed to a sample problem afterwards.